Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday and I am so happy that you guys are here. So for dinner tonight, we are having a pantry and freezer meal. I'm still using up stuff that I have on hand. So we are having Sloppy Joe's, and we are having broccoli fries. So this is the um, Sloppy Joe sauce that I had in my pantry that I wanted to use. You just add a pound of ground beef, or if you have ground turkey, whatever you have. And then we are having these broccoli fries. Now, I bought these during a time when I guess I thought I was healthier than I was. So they have been sitting in the freezer and I needed to make them. So they are broccoli and potato fries. Howard and I tried them. We said they're okay. He said they need some ketchup, but I feel weird about eating ketchup and broccoli, but they definitely do need something. I would not repurchase these. I mean, they're not bad, but they're just okay. I started off um, cooking them in the air fryer. They were a little bit too soft, so I moved them to the oven. So here's what they look like. This is Howard's plate. He made a little design for you guys. And here's his sloppy joe. That's the meat on the bottom. He added some cheddar cheese, some tomato, and avocado. Um, this is my plate, <coughs> excuse me. This is my plate and I just have um, cheddar cheese. And then I toasted my bun. I like my buns toasted. He doesn't, so his is not toasted. And then my broccoli fries. And then for dessert, I made a cherry crisp. Um, using stuff that I had in the pantry. So I had this crisp topping from Krusty's, and then I had um, this cherry pie filling, and so I used that to um, make the cherry cobbler, and the crisp, I should say. And um, even though this isn't homemade, I do have a homemade blueberry crisp video on our channel. I'll make sure to link that um, in the cards and also in the description box. And I made the crisp to go with this homemade ice cream, vanilla ice cream that I made over the weekend. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I get a little break from cooking. Howard went to our favorite local Italian restaurant and picked up dinner to go for us. So I have lasagna, and here it is. It's a huge piece of lasagna, and some Italian wedding soup, and let me stir it so y'all can see what's in there. It's so good, so Italian wedding soup and a side salad, so that's my salad. Here is Howard's salad. He also got a side of Italian wedding soup. And then he got uh, pesto chicken. And he got pesto chicken with penne. And then we got a side of their delicious um, bread. So good. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having taco salads. I am using up this John Soul's beef fajita, um, beef fajitas that I had in the freezer. I got these from Kroger a while back and they were half price, as you can see. So I just threw them in my freezer for another time. So what I did was chop up the meat and then I fried it in the skillet. And so here is my plate. On the very bottom, I have tortilla chips and then I have some butter lettuce. I have the um, beef fajita meat, um, some cheddar cheese and salsa. And then Howard has basically the same thing, but he is not eating tortilla chips. He has his on top of a flour tortilla, and he also has sour cream um, on the tortilla as well. And then he topped his with some avocado as well. So he's having avocado, um, the meat, and the cheese. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having a pasta dish. So for my sauce, I am using this H-E-B Saucy Cajun sauce. It's a cream sauce with tomatoes and Cajun spices. Um, we have not had this before. I picked this up at H-E-B, which is a local grocery store here in Texas, and I wanted to use it. With it, I added some Purdue chicken breast uh, grill, and I have this in my freezer, so I used that. And then I used half a box of this 12-ounce box of fettuccine. 
um, from Kroger. We're also having some steamed broccoli. I had some frozen broccoli in my freezer and I cooked it in the microwave. Normally I stir fry my broccoli. I just didn't feel like it today. So I just steamed it in the microwave. And then we are also having some crescent rolls. Um, the crescent rolls are from Winco, which is a grocery store here in Texas. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. I would consider this to be a pantry meal because everything I used, I had on hand. I didn't go out and buy anything for this. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having grilled skirt steak. I marinated it in this chimichurri um, style marinade from Great Value. This is something that I had in my pantry that I wanted to use. Howard and I tried it um, and we feel like neither one of us are super crazy about it. It's very vinegary. Um, Howard said he even thought it tasted limey and I really love chimichurri. I'm just not crazy about this. So I have about a half a bottle left that um, I need to use. And then I made my green onion and mushroom fried rice. I feel like I have this every single week. And then we had some fresh corn on the cob that Howard grilled as well. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having orange chicken. This was in my freezer. It is from Winco, a local grocery store around here. So we're having orange chicken with the leftover green onion and mushroom um, fried rice from yesterday. This is my plate and this is Howard's plate. He just has his on top of the rice. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.